Hello, my lovely Virgo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, any of you lovely folks dealing with a Virgo romantically. This is a timeless reading, Virgo. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do like to remind you, it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. You are more than welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Before we get to it, I do want to remind you that I have my Etsy shop up and running. So if you would like to purchase a tarot card reading from me, you can head on over to Etsy and I've got all my different offerings listed over there. So if you'd like to, feel free to check it out. And I will put the link to my Etsy shop just in the description box below this video. So let's get to it, Virgo. We're going to look at the recent past, the current energy, and the near future. Let's get one card to start out for the recent past for Virgo, please. Wait. All right. So in the recent past, you were having to practice patience when it comes to love. You may have been waiting for something to happen that had not yet happened for you. We're gonna pull some tarot to see what that could be about. Uh, let's get one card for the current energy though to start. Let's get one card, forgiveness. Hmm. So somebody is seeking forgiveness here in the current moment. You could be seeking forgiveness from somebody or they could be seeking forgiveness from you. And then let's get one card for the near future. The situation will improve. Interesting. Some of you are on a little bit of a love journey right now, Virgo. You could be going through a tougher situation. Maybe you're kind of waiting and watching to see what happens. Somebody here could be trying to then apologize and it does look like things will be improving. So you're moving in the right direction here with whatever this is for you, Virgo. Let's get some tarot on this. Give me one card for the recent past for Virgo, please. Give me one card here. Ooh, death, okay. The death card represents an ending that leads to a new beginning. I'm looking at the card wait, and what I'm getting here, Virgo, is that somebody may have been considering ending a relationship, but they were kind of waiting a little bit, maybe waiting to see if things would improve, waiting to see if things would be different. Okay, we'll clarify that in a few minutes, you guys. Uh, let's get one card here for the current moment for Virgo, please. Two of Swords. Somebody is saying they're sorry to you, but you're not really sure what to do with the apology. The Two of Swords represents a head versus heart decision. So when this person comes in and inevitably apologizes to you, Virgo, your head will be telling you one thing and your heart will be telling you another. And you're gonna have to reconcile the two in order to decide what you wanna do with this apology. Let's get one card for the near future, please. King of Swords, good. That's actually really good. So we've got the King of Swords paired with the situation will improve. You're definitely feeling a lot more clear-headed about this situation in the near future. Things are getting better and you're gonna see the situation clearly. So again, it's like, I feel like things are really moving in a good direction. Okay, but let's go back to the recent past and let's dig into this a little bit more. As I've said, we've got the message wait and we've got the death card, okay? The only way that I really interpret that is you were waiting to decide if you were going to end something or walk away. That's really what I feel there, Virgo. So let's actually clarify what this death card was in the recent past for Virgo. What is this death energy? The sun. Part of you was wondering, can we get back to the way we were before? Can we be as happy as we were before? You may have been waiting it out before ending things because you were hopeful that the situation could improve. Tell me more. Tell me more, please, about this death card, temperance. So we got a lot of fire energy, you guys, because we've got the sun and we've got temperance. The sun is Leo energy, temperance is Sagittarian energy. I will say there was definitely love here between you and this person. And it's funny because I'm looking at the temperance card and the temperance card definitely has an element of patience attached to it as well. So it's really interesting to have the temperance card with the message wait. It could have even been that you were having some sort of conflict with whoever you were involved with romantically. And maybe they were saying to you, Virgo, can you please be patient with me? Just, just wait on making any decisions and give me a little bit more time to prove myself to you. Okay, what else? Three of Pentacles. How can we fix this? How can we work through this? You may have gone to counseling with your person. I can see that with the Three of Pentacles here. But I do think that before deciding to end something, there was definitely a lot of effort that was being put into this connection. I'm having a little bit of deja vu, you guys. Like, I feel I did a reading like this for you like in the past two weeks. I don't know, I'm really having deja vu. <laughs> I do a lot of tarot readings, so like I can't quite exactly pinpoint 
what I say and when, but sometimes I'm doing a reading and I get a bit of deja vu and I feel like there was something like this for you in the past two weeks. Anyway, um, what I do see here in the recent past though is like waiting to make a decision about the future of a relationship and giving time and space to try to work through the issues either you know, working through them within your relationship or maybe getting some sort of outside support such as a therapist to help you work through these issues, okay? So let's go into the current energy where we've got forgiveness and the two of swords. As I've already said here, Virgo, somebody is asking for forgiveness and the other person is like, I don't know what I wanna do with that. And they're gonna be conflicted. If this is you, your head is going to tell you one thing and your heart is going to tell you another. Tell me more about this two of swords, please. Tell me more about this two of swords. Okay, you're gonna be asking this person for time and space to process this. So you're gonna to say to them like, okay, thank you for the apology or you know, whatever you wanna say. You know, thanks for apologizing. Um, I'm gonna need some time to get my head straight. I'm gonna need some time here to think through what I wanna do next. Ace of Cups. See now this is where it gets interesting, Virgo. Cause I feel like this is gonna go one of two ways. Either you're going to accept this person's uh, apology and the two of you will have a new emotional beginning, or you decide not to accept the apology because you want new love. You don't wanna go back into the past, okay? Uh, let's get one more, let's get one more, the star. Here's the thing, you guys, you might be working this out. For those of you who have been struggling and for those of you who have kind of been waiting around, hoping that things would change, it definitely looks like you're hopeful that it will change. And I think the best outcome here for you is fixing this and healing it. Because as we're getting into this, I do think that there has been some sort of struggle in a relationship. I feel like your person has been trying to fix it. I do think that they're asking you for an apology. You're kind of torn though, because it's been a rough road, right? Things have not been good. And you know, your head might be like, I don't know, it's been bad. Should we just break up? Whereas your heart might be like, but you love them so much. So you're kind of conflicted, but I feel like deep down, honestly, Virgo, what I see here is that you do want to make it work with this person. That's honestly what I see. So if they're able to come in and really genuinely seek forgiveness and make amends for whatever it is that happened with you guys, I see you really seriously considering that. And um, yeah, I, I see you wanting to heal. Like with that star card, it really, it feels hopeful and optimistic. And it's kind of drawn me back to the sun energy in the recent past. Remember how I said you were wondering, can we be happy again? Can we get back to the way we were? I do think you're still hopeful. So I still see the two of you here really trying to fix this in the current moment. And I feel like you are receptive to the steps that your person is gonna be taking to try to make amends, okay? So this is like, if you're, if you're with somebody and you're frustrated and you wanna break up, I don't think this is really your energy. This to me, like if I'm tapping into your energy, Virgo, this is more somebody who doesn't wanna give up on a relationship but needs to see that change in their partnership. But I feel like if you're able to see your person make these changes, I don't think you're going anywhere. I think that if they can prove that things are gonna be better or different, whatever it is that you need, I think you're very open to that. That's my sense. If you're connecting with this energy today, okay? If you're not connecting, by the way, with any of my ratings, Virgo, if you're not connecting, that's okay. Not every message is meant for everybody. I have lots of videos on my channel. So if this is not your message today, that a-okay, no problem. <laughs> Feel free to check out any of my other videos, okay? So let's look at the near future where it says the situation will improve and the King of Swords. So I see things getting better in this connection. I really see communication improving. So I think that's gonna be like a big factor between the two of you. There's gonna be more talking, more connection. You're gonna understand each other on a deeper level. Tell me more about this King of Swords in the near future. Yeah, like I said, I think this is more indicative of a relationship that gets back on track after a period of struggle. And after you go through this struggle, it looks like in the near future, you start to have serious conversations about commitment. The Hierophant is basically like the marriage card, right? Tell me more. King of Cups, beautiful. So we've got both the King of Swords and the King of Cups in the near future. Emotional connection, love, and then that intellectual connection and that communication. Tell me more, tell me more for Virgo. And then the Six of Wands. Okay, it's actually really, really good. It's really good for the near future Virgo. So I hope that if, uh, if you're still here watching this video, that the big thing you can take away from this reading is hopefulness. If you are struggling with a situation romantically and you've been waiting to see how it plays out, 
I see constant improvements happening throughout this reading. And in the near future, I see love, happiness, connection, and commitment. There is going to be success within this relationship. So if you guys keep working on it, and that's the thing, right? What I see here is two people actively working on it. That's what's going to lead to success, not two people sitting back and, and doing nothing. I just want to be clear. This is two people who are actively working on it, especially it feels like your person, because I kind of feel like they messed up and now they're having to prove themselves. But I do think they're quite motivated to do that, Virgo. I see them putting in the effort. And if that continues, the situation is vastly improving here in the near future. And I see the two of you going back to being very, very, very happy with each other. All right, which is beautiful. Now, like I said, in the current energy, is it possible that some of you decide to go in the direction of new love? It is. I don't kind of intuitively feel that for the majority of you, but there could be like a smaller subset of you who do decide to walk away. And if that's the case, I still see commitment in the near future. Like this could be brand new love coming in with either an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and really deepening that commitment. Whichever way it's going here, in the near future, I definitely feel that there is a love connection here for you, Virgo. So it's either who you're currently with and you guys are working through your issues, or this is new love coming in that's gonna bring a sense of love and stability into your life. So either way, I really feel like it's gonna work out for you. All right, my loves? So I'm gonna leave it there. If you enjoyed this reading, please do give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Definitely feel free to check out my Etsy shop if you'd like to see what I have available. And uh, yeah, you know, I love you guys. I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll be talking again very soon. Bye Virgo.